Hello friends and welcome. You're watching episode number 10 of our Let's Play Production Line series. My name is Sean and I'm glad you're here watching me play some video games tonight. Production Line is an early alpha game. Actually, uh, alpha 1.09 I think. They did two, two upgrades today real quick. Oh, you can see some of the differences. They've got little, little chunks of leather there. I don't think those existed before. Uh, but anyways, they've uh, done quite a few uh, feature improvements. Uh, that looks... Maybe that's how that always looked. I don't know. Anyways, uh, quite a few improvements, and we are going to do quite a few improvements because we have a lot of new accessories to add to our cars. So uh, let's uh, let's start uh, putting some of those upgrades in there. Um, I I went ahead and made a little list to help speed this up a little bit, and our first stop is going to be fit trunk, and we should have a couple of uh, things to do here on the trunk. We have a reversing camera, so let's get that installed. And uh, next up is going to be door panels. Now, I know we have, I think we have several fit door panels on there. There they are. And the door panels, I think, has a couple of a couple of new options. Car alarm, keyless entry. Do that over on this one as well. There's one, there's two. Very good. Moving along. I don't think we have anything else to put on there until we get to brakes. Uh, a lot of these things have new components necessary, like the the sunroof has, uh, I guess these these are placeholder components, but uh, some some new components going in there. Um, but let's move over. Whoops, close that down. Oh yeah, you can move these windows now, which is pretty cool. Uh, boy, we got to go a long way to get to that engine, don't we? Um, brakes. There's the brakes, but first comes fit wheels. Uh, fit wheels. Um, let's try that again. There you go. Fit wheels is going to have spare wheel. And actually, I can throw. Let's go ahead and throw those robots in there. There's no reason not to. I guess the additional electric costs or something like that would be a reason not to. But uh, uh, we're not really going to worry about that right now. Fit tires. Yeah, look at that. Woo! Move that around. So cool. Um, tire pressure sensors. And I know there's something else in there. Nope, I guess that's it. All right. Um, and uh, there's the brakes. The brakes are going to have a few different options added to it. Um, wow, look at that. All sorts of options added to the brake. I think we're going to have to do a second brake slot at this rate. All these many, many things that we're adding on to it. Probably a bunch of new components that it's going to need, too, to put all this stuff on there. All right, so we're good there. And uh, the steering wheel is our next stop. Steering wheel has power steering. Is that it? Just power steering? All right, cool. And then uh, this one also power steering. There we go. Nine seconds to get that installed there. Might have to do another one of those as well. Um, all right, performance features. Well, we may as well throw that in here while we're here. Uh, I guess we need, to, we need to research that. That's the aluminum body. Oh, it's almost sounded like Illuminati, aluminum body. Um, all right, uh, one thing that the uh, that was fixed is that bug for um, the AC. So now we'll be able to install our AC in there, which is cool. Where are those headlights? Are they already installed? There they are. Fit lights. Um, auto steer headlights. Uh, let's throw those robots in there. Have those cars fly through. There we go. And there's the other headlights. Very good. All right. And there's the AC, right? But what are we missing? We are missing, there's an adjustment with the seats as well. Uh, driver's side airbags, I think. And some, some robots too, why not? There it is, driver's side airbag. Should be passenger side airbag too, cool. Nice safe, uh, safe stuff for our driver and passengers. They're not going to get killed as easily. We're going to have these new models coming up here soon. There we go. And air conditioning. Yeah, let's get all this AC installed. Very cool. All sorts of AC. AC. Oh, the new model, huh? Well. When I was, uh, I'm a big fan of the uh, Coen Brothers, so we're gonna go with the Ibex, and uh, that is from uh, the Hudsucker Proxy. I know it's a weird, uh, 
like a really obscure like one line within that movie they mention an ibex uh, but um, uh, that is what I think of when I think of an ibex I think of the I think of the Hudsucker proxy and the I think Jennifer Jason Lee is the actress who says uh, or well I guess oh my gosh I guess it's probably um, Tim Robbins that says it because I think he says that she's graceful like an ibex and something a gazelle a gazelle or an ibex and didn't we have a gazelle in here too oh jeez did I already do number four I don't know who knows let's get this stuff installed before they invent a new car for us fill that up with all your goodies those look like new graphics too uh, and then we're going to have a bunch of new electronics, which is probably going to end up uh, slowing our slowing our thing down so considerably. We're going to have to we're going to have to change the whole. Uh, yeah, we're going to definitely have to put in. Do we only have one? Like all of our cars are going through that fit electronics. Where? Why are our cars stopped? No route to stockpile, huh? Oh. Um, I guess that's because that has some sort of component. Well, shoot. That is going to throw a, a wrench in our works because uh, we uh, we don't want we don't want to import like we had everything being brought in directly from hmm, and what do we need? Of course we need uh, servos. Why not? Can I? I want to X that out. <laughs> like, no, we don't. We don't need servos. Um, well, if I set it to a distant connection, like maybe up here, then it, maybe it'll still be too far away to. Uh, like, I just don't want it to bring in tires and stuff along this line. This is going to be tricky. But I think this will work. Just need to make sure I don't connect it up. All right, let's. Uh, we'll see what happens with that setup. Uh, but I'm definitely going to have to put in a new. Um, oh, and it's bringing in. Ah, it's bringing in components off of that line. Oh, you know that's just a placeholder uh, graphic, isn't it? Uh, what is it importing there? speed it up so we can see. Hopefully those are just servos. All right, it looks like those are just servos because it's sending sending just kind of random graphics in there. Um, but this is not this electronics isn't going to be enough to cover all of our electronic needs. <clears throat> so I um, I think I'm gonna uh, delete those power plants and then we'll put another fit electronic station and right along here and then we can run those around that way so we've still got we've still got room to fit those in there we go and there and down um, I guess we can just split them like that and not really have the overlay uh, so here we're gonna just add everything in there There we go. So that's all set up, and I think I think that's it. So uh, I guess we just need to get this uh, get this aluminum roll cage, um, which we should be pretty close to uh, aluminum body. That is, or uh, for all of my uh, European friends, aluminium body. Um, but we'll get that uh, get that set up, and uh, then we'll have our our final fancy new car ready to go. No export. Yeah, that's that's understandable. No export room. There probably is export room. We're just not not choosing to take advantage of it. Um, so now I forgot what number we were on. Can we uh, can we see? I guess we can't. We'll just have to see if I can remember. Let's go with number six. I know last time we did that, I skipped a I skipped a model. 
So one, two, three, four, six. I did skip a model this time too. But, oh well. That five is going to be a rare collector's item. Actually, I think most of those cards are going to be rare collector's items because they're all going to have weird combinations of some features on and some features not on. Uh, you know what? There is a way that I can set these up to where they are uh, transferable. I'll run you like that, right? And then I'll run you like that. So then if, uh, if one of them fills up, they'll move to the other move to the other one. So that's pretty cool, I think. Proud of myself. All right, there's the aluminium body. You like that? It's almost like I was, I'm from Europe or something, and I'm not. Oh, which reminds me, today, February 14th, is Oregon's birthday, my home, home state. I love Oregon. And Oregon is 159 years old, so I'm sure <laughs> most of the people watching uh, are from places that are older than Oregon. Uh, you know, we're... I, you know, I don't think of us as a new state. I think we were in the 30s uh, for statehood, but uh, you know, relative to the rest of the world, uh, we are we are pretty young. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to put in that aluminum uh, roll cage, which is probably there. It is. It's going to be right there. So we're going to choose. We're going to throw in all these robots because why not? An aluminum body. So that means we're going to have. <clears throat> have a uh, uh, one final upgrade at the end. All right, so no backups over here, but I could see that they're backing up over here. That's for sure. And why are they backing up over here? Because the flywheels. I don't think it's the flywheels. Is it the starter motor? No, that's 3.83 seconds. Well, 6.4 seconds for the radiator? How did that happen? And and I didn't notice. And we only have one fit radiator, right? Oh, no, we have two. Okay. Huh. So the exhaust shouldn't be uh, shouldn't really be slowing us down. I'll throw these robots on there just to speed it up, but that's not that's not really what our problem is. Up. Oh. I don't even know why I'm looking. Let's throw in that Model Five. Hey, who said they had to be in order? Still selling our cars real well. Is the uh, are the brakes the thing that this the 4.86 seconds is pretty slow compared to the rest of the line that could be that could be the slowdown. Well, fortunately we have enough room to get them through. If I upgrade this one a little more, 3.76 seconds. And what are these going at? See here we're looking at four and a half seconds for that one too. So. Um, but it looks like the brakes right now are the, the slow point. So we can throw in another another one of those pretty easily. Well, I don't think this is... It's too bad those aren't like in any order or anything. I don't want to go to the final model until we get that aluminum. Uh, until we get the aluminum. I guess they are in order. Alright, so. That's going to be the 7. And we'll go to our final model once we have that aluminum part in there. That's that's going to be about as much as there is left to do. Um, so we are on the brake, which is not going to be under there. It's going to be right there under fit brakes. So we'll put that. Oh, so kind of weird for the graphics on that. There's two belts shown on there. Obviously, that's not the case. Um, they're going to be like that and. That means that one is going to be the, the stockpile right there, like that. And then we'll run the resource conveyor across here, connect those two up. Oh, shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. It didn't really hurt anything, but... Um, oh. Oh. 
And uh, I guess I would want to put a conveyor. Oh wait, I want to I want to fix up. Oh, oh come on now. We'll do that, and we're going to fix this up with all the uh, with all the accessories like that. There. Keep throwing the accessories at it. Uh, just go through the whole list. Choose. Choose. Wait a minute. This is the brakes, and it has cruise control. Seems like a strange place for cruise control to be. Um, all right, you're going to go there. Now I'm going to have to run you back down here, which is going to be. There we go. Uh, I want to. All right. This is a new feature of the metal rolling. Uh, I'm going to show this. I'll do that then. Take that. Alright, so now I'm going to need another fit steering column. I'm quite sure that that's, gonna, uh, that's not going to be able to keep up. So, uh, let's slow you down a little bit here. Fit steering column right there. Great. And I cannot quite... Well, I wouldn't be able to get that in there anyways because it needs to be able to get out. But if I put it right there, I think that'll work. And we will have the conveyor go there and there. And I need to uh, get all... Oh, no. No need for anything other than robots. Looks like a kind of a spider over on the side there. With all the, like a red-legged spider. Alright. Close that down. And then we just need to run this conveyor out like that. There we go. And so is the t are the tires the? I would say this is going to be our next slowdown area. We can't really add any new things in there. I could put another tire slot up here. Um, hmm. I mean, I can put it right here. I guess that'll handle all of our overflow. It doesn't need to be uh, perfect. There we go, like right there. Um, and then let's uh, upgrade all of the upgrades available in here. And then we're going to run this conveyor like that. And then we're going to run you there. Ah, come on, connect up, thank you. And uh, resource conveyor will go up like that. Very good. Resource conveyors everywhere over on the, on that thing. All right, and so now I'm going to say fit wheels is probably our slow down section. Are we ever going to get uh, to where we don't have a slow down section? I mean, I I suppose eventually the answer would be yes. Uh, but let's uh, why wait to find out? Um, that's still under fit engine. Fit wheel assembly. Fit wheels. There we go. And uh, we'll connect you up to the existing stockpile or the existing resources like that. And then we'll turn on all of the bonuses so we can have you running from the very start, not have to do a new model. Great. And then convey it, convey it up. Convey to there there over and out all right so that'll handle that and we shouldn't have any uh, shouldn't have any backup at this stage let it run a little faster well they're sort of still not keeping up which is kind of a surprise um hmm how how long? Uh, so that's like every two point two point oh four seconds. So two of these at four point nine eight should not be faster than two of these at four point oh eight. Something seems a little suspicious there. Uh, what a weird uh, weird little setup we've got going on there. But it works. Actually, why don't I why don't I set you up to connect to there? Oh, 
Because you don't want to, I guess. That's why. All right, then. One of the improvements on 4.09 is that it uh, fixed, uh, fixed some of the T-junction problems. Wink. Oh, you know, one of the improvements that it did actually do, though, like it was supposed to have fixed the T-junction problem. I'm not quite sure why it didn't, but I'm not so worried about that, really. Let's reduce our prices a little bit so we can get rid of some of these cars. All right. Um, one thing it did do, though, is it will tell us, well, it's supposed to tell us vehicle production per hour. I guess it's not going to tell us that at all. Um, slots running 55%. All right. Square meters per vehicle. I'm not quite sure. Uh, vehicles running 20.8%. 26%. Okay. Oh, aluminum body. There you go. So this is our final model, I think. And uh, we'll go with a little Bloom County reference with the jackalope. And we will put that at a nice 22%. Sure, why not? Oh, 50 cars in our... Well, that's... I guess I guess that's, uh, that's kind of what you expect, isn't it? And then they'll all sell here before too long, I hope. Still getting insufficient resources in the fit brakes area. Um, but I guess that's because of the complex setup. Can I fit the new metal press thing? I'm not sure what um, what uses metal sheets. Obviously, this uses metal sheets down here. So um, let's take a look at that. Um, we have where make metal sheets. I guess I haven't haven't discovered that yet. I thought I had discovered it. Oh, not quite yet. All right. Well, let's get that discovered. Let's turn up the speed till we have it discovered. Oh, there goes all of our cars selling out. Hmm. So we are still running into backlogs. There, for example. All right. Um, so, I'd say we are done with research. I don't see how I can fit radiator and steering wheel manufacturer in. I guess, uh, you know what? I could fit them in if I pulled out all the research stations, and then I could move all of our power stations. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and research those. Because we'll finish our research, then we'll kill all of our research stations, and then uh, we should be able to put the put those manufacturing things into there. Uh, but let's take a look at this uh, sheet metal um, sheet metal production. Wow, that looks intimidating. Uh, how fast does it produce them? One every four seconds. Holy moly, that is going to take a lot of uh, going to take a lot of spots. Okay, so there's where it comes in. So we have make metal sheets. So it should be like this, I think. It's going to be the right setup. Yeah, looks like it is. Um, we're not really going to be able to fit quite as many in here as I might like. Um, if I move, if I move the resource conveyor over two spots and then run it up like that, there we go. And delete all those. I can fit a few more in there anyway, but those are, those are very large. Can I fit one more in? I, th I should be able to, I think. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, uh, resource conveyor, and um, see now we're going to run into the problem where these things are all going to be connected up. And that's going to cause all sorts of confusion. Oh well. Run you down there and there, there. Uh, it looks like it's not causing too much confusion, although it doesn't. It seems to be bringing in <laughs> a lot of our sheet metal from out there still. Whereas we have all this no export room, yet it's still importing sheets of metal from there. I'm sure in our next factory I can figure out a way to make that to where it, uh, to where it works a little better. 
Um, but uh, for today, we're going to have to call that good. Can I, uh, can, I, can I get the stats on our car? Look at that, 80 vehicles per hour. So we're doing one vehicle every minute and a half, or I mean uh, every 45 seconds or so. Every 40 seconds, I guess. It's pretty, it sounds pretty good to me. I don't really know what that means in terms of, uh, in terms of like literal seconds. <clears throat> Still looks like uh, the, these flywheels are gonna be our, uh, they shouldn't be, because it just looks like we're getting one car every three seconds through there. Also looks like, so fit valves, ah, fit valves is going to be the slowdown in that area. I know I just said that we were going to, we were going to be done here, but I'm going to throw in another fit valve. Could have swore we had two fit valve slots. I guess not. Um, hmm. All right. How am I going to make this work? I think I'm going to need to delete those like that. And you're going through there. So I'm going to have to split them up this way as well. And we'll run uh, there we go, our final research. Um, we will run uh, like that. Why won't you let me build there? So you'll run through there. There we go. And we'll choose all three of the robots for you. And then we'll hook up a conveyor, I mean a resource conveyor, which shouldn't be too hard. And you're right over here near the door. There we go. Insufficient resources. Yep, that makes sense. Now, ah, shit. I skipped out on fit starter motor, huh? All right. Well, wait, I only have one fit starter motor? Okay. Well, that's easy enough to fix. But you're not going to let me stick that. Oh, you will. Good. Thanks. Um, we'll just run that right there, and that's easy. All right. Now you should be able to run cars through there. Cool. All right. Um, what was I saying? Thanks for watching. I think I was going to say something like that. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. Um, I have had fun playing, as usual. I always like playing video games. That's why I make videos of me doing it. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy watching it, because that's the other reason I make videos of me playing video games. Those two, they go hand in hand. And I would say that you guys do seem to enjoy watching on my channels. Been doing very well for my little brand new tiny little channel here. And I appreciate all of you guys watching and enjoying these videos. Uh, I hope you will continue to do so. And a good way to do that would be to watch the next video in this series, which should be out tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye.